one thing I would I would mention, I think, is is everybody, and especially the Division three probably where they get bigger and bigger numbers, is to ask the kids why they play the game. And uh, ever since I've done that, I, I do a session. Everybody gives me their answers, and when they're all said and done, none of those answers relate to starting. Everything they got positive out of playing softball, they can get by being a reserve and never even starting in a game. I said, so everybody can be happy if that's what it's all about. But what happens is then there becomes external expectations of their past coaches or their parents or whoever it may be. And then the outside expert, how come you're not starting? Like something's wrong with not starting. And being on a good team where there's a lot of kids, it's hard to start, you know, or in any team really, right? It's hard to start. So, so for them to realize that that doesn't mean softball is not going well. It could be going great. They have the best teammates they've ever had. They're learning more than they ever have. They're improving more than they ever have. Don't get caught up in the external expectation part of it. And so I think it's really important for coaches to bring this up. And then also to talk about what, it's, what it means to be a good teammate. And then also what it means to be a good parent. And I use my, my parents as examples and, uh, and our, my playing experience with that. And say, what does a good parent do? And how can they be a good team player within the team? So those are some good things. And then I think uh, very important, as uh, Crystal had mentioned, um, I read an article recently in baseball, and they talked about uh, give your best players more playing time because they give you a bigger bang for your buck. But I think if you do that, uh, and, and in particular probably female athletics, is it's so much about being a part of a team and togetherness. And not that guys aren't, but I think it's that much more. So very important that I try to work with everybody equally. And like Tim says, when I'm doing a little extra work, then I may give that kid a little bit more time. But in team practice, treat them all like human beings versus people that, that are going to help you get to where you want to go.